Hi guys, Andy here again and in this lesson we're just taking a quick look at how hard and exactly where you should place your fingers in the fret. Now it's a fact of any learning guitarist that so many learning guitarists press down far too hard on their instrument. Probably as a product of strings not quite ringing out right, people just kind of develop this gorilla grip which uh, a lot of my students kind of nickname it and um, it does prevent speed and, and effortless playing and also means you your finger ends just hurt far too you, you know far too much to even continue playing maybe which is a real shame so if um, from using this quick exercise hopefully this will help you guys let's zoom into a close-up to check it out okay guys let's cure your gorilla grip um, for a breakdown of exactly all this lesson plan so you can follow the steps yourself another time uh, do check out the link below but you can also follow the steps here so we want to find out just as an example find uh, the fifth fret on your thickest E string now on this particular guitar that's the first dot here um, many guitars have a dot at a third fret but you can also kind of count up from zero so one two three four and we're going to use 5th fret just as an example and what I want you to do is just place that exactly on the dot itself right in the middle of the fret and press down exactly as you normally would and give how much you're pressing down a number between 1 and 10 doesn't really matter what this number is but see 10 like making the tightest fist that you possibly can and pressing down as hard as you can and then 1 one wouldn't even ring out, so light that it doesn't even ring out. So give yourself a number between 1 and 10, kind of now. You probably, in fact, I'm not even going to ask you, I'm going to ask you in a second. Okay, whatever your number is, um, let's press down exactly that amount, and I want you to play, just pick, ideally with a pick as well, it'll be best done with a pick so we can hear as clear a note as we can. Um, play one note kind of every second which by the way is something you should do when you're tuning your guitar as well just keep playing and gradually with your first finger relax down the numbers so imagining that you started off at I don't know 8 gradually go to 7 and 6 and 5 really slowly so that it kind of starts to buzz and then the note just stops ringing out altogether because we've got maybe down to a two or a one. Now, at whatever point when you were playing that that note started to buzz, press down that amount, but move your finger over to this side of the fret. So we want to be um, at your side of the fret, basically, between where the dot is and the fret itself, we want to be exactly here. So we want to see this is the bad side of the fret and this is the good side of the fret. Position your finger here and press down that amount where you were just kind of tutoring on it, vibrating, but it is still ringing out. Don't press on any more than just that little bit of buzzing, but still sounding pretty good. If you can just get rid of that buzzing, but again, if you're pressing down any harder than you need to, please don't. And then think of what number that is compared to where you started. Remember that note's ringing out exactly the same. At an estimate, if you started off at a six, you might have been able to get that down. That might be a three or a four now. That's what my students tend to say. Um, and then we're gonna move our first finger over to the bad side of the fret, over to this side. So let's press down that same amount, three or a four, and see what happens. And give it a go now, and we should get kind of this sound, just a thud, right? Three or a four, it's not ringing out. You have to press down kind of oh, substantially harder, okay? Um, maybe even like approaching six or a seven to press down which may be how much you were pressing down at the start so if we're positioning your finger at this side of the fret at the good side this side your side of the dot you can press down substantially less and that's going to really help you for any of your chord shapes or any single notes that you ever play on guitar if you're say you're taking the way that i teach an a chord right like this 
correct. A lot of times this first finger just doesn't ring out, okay? <laughs> this one can't help but buzz. That one finger has to press down a little bit more than the others, but don't press down any harder with the other fingers while you're doing this. And um, hopefully you can repeat this exercise with any of your other fingers. So say your middle one, press down the normal amount, keep playing once per second, go really gradually, less and less, until it stops ringing out. And then play that note again, just tutoring on the edge, move it to the bad side of the fret. If it still rings out the other side of the fret, you're pressing on too hard. You need to position your finger at this side and have it still sounding pretty good. Um, if we're playing really high up the fretboard, so say somewhere near the, the double dot up here, um, we want to be leaning kind of on this side of the fret because even my fairly small fingers um, fill up the whole fret. But if I lean on this side of the fret, it doesn't sound very good. If I press on the same amount and lean at this side of the fret, you know, it, I have to be pressing at this side and kind of straight on. If I move this way, it suddenly starts to buzz. So finger placement is so important and often in kind of the heat of the moment with songs is the first thing to kind of go. So taking the, just the, the first three chords at, at this beginner's course, um, you've got an E, Everything should be pretty much as far over this way as possible and sounding pretty good. Your A, your first finger is going to be at this side, so that one needs to be pressed on a little bit harder. But the other ones, as long as they're right on their tips, they should all ring out fairly easily without pressing on too hard. And using a capo, which we've just covered in the last lesson here, um, can really help to kind of squash these strings down and make everything easier to press because if your strings are really high off the fretboard it's going to be much more difficult to kind of press down so um, maybe use a capo or use the songs in my beginners course with a capo um, which I listed um, to make sure that you uh, are kind of using the instrument in the right way so feel free to repeat that exercise with your, your other fingers, try it high, try it low, but that's just a, a bit of an eye opener for, um, for a lot of my students in private lessons. So hopefully that will cure your gorilla grip maybe, um, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Check out andyguitar.co.uk as I say for the rest of the free beginners course and uh, subscribe if you like what I do and I'm sure I'll see you again. Bye for now.